everybody, welcome to my channel. I passed NBD, yay! Can you believe it? I cannot, and I'm wearing glasses to tell you how I studied for it, so I wanna look smarter. I went out of the exam and I was positive that I failed, positive. And I know everybody thinks they didn't pass, but for me legitimately, I guessed on like every second question, and I was pretty sure, yeah, this isn't going well, I didn't pass. But I passed. I'm gonna tell you about my theories, why I passed, and how I studied in this video, so if you're curious about that, keep on watching. As you know, my task was canceled and it was transferred to Rhode Island. I rescheduled it so I would pass it next day so I wouldn't have such a big prolonged pa pause period and I had to schedule in a state away from my state. I live in Massachusetts. My theory is, I have no proof, but I have a theory. Rhode Island doesn't have dental schools. It's a state without dental schools. And I passed it in March, and all of the dental students, they have until March to pass it, basically. If you're in dental school in America and you're American, you have until March to pass your part one. I think, as the results are scaled, going to the state that doesn't have any dental schools actually would work for your advantage because you will get a score that's closer to your natural score and it's not going to be scaled against all those smarty pants American students. But that's just my theory. If you have a proof for my theory, if you think the same thing, let me know. If you think it's absolutely stupid, also, don't let me. I don't want to know. This is just what I think. So I think Bain and Rhode Island actually helped me because the scaling wasn't so brutal. So the next thing I wanna tell you about studying for my exam. So I made one huge mistake while studying for my NBD and it's over studying. And I can't recommend you enough to not do what I did. Over studying is your worst enemy because by the time that I actually came close to passing my exam, I was exhausted. I couldn't think straight. I hated this exam left and right and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just I'm just gonna go and fail on purpose because I was so tired I basically started studying in August because I thought that I would pass it in the fall I wanted to get it done with but I had problems with my visa and I had to go back to Russia So it didn't happen. So I transferred it on March, but I didn't stop studying So I was studying non-stop for six months or something It was awful and I started forgetting what I learned back in August and I was just, just exhausted of it I was so tired in my personal opinion, three months is all you need to prepare fully for NBD. Three months considering you study about six hours a day, six to five hours a day, because any less than that, you will not grasp enough information and you will not prepare yourself for the length of the exam because it is pretty long, even though I didn't notice that, but most of people do. You really need to train yourself to study, to be on that schedule because you do, you will get bored and exhausted. It will probably personally depend on everybody's studying habits and also life circumstances because if you have like kids and a job, you can really sit down for six hours and study all day. So you have to prolong your period of studying and study for a little less, but still I recommend you study at least five hours a day, at least, because you do need to prepare yourself for the fact that exam is a long commitment so that's about my studying habits so I started like seriously studying studying for it in January I registered for the exam and I started seriously studying for it first like week and a half I was waking up in 6 a.m. and I started studying at 9 just like the exam and I was studying until 6 just like the exam supposed to be but I got, got so tired of it I got exhausted and it didn't last and after all, I just completely forgot about it because past months put a strain on me and I just didn't want to do it anymore. And I basically gave up fully. And that's why I stopped making videos because I was just like, no, this is just so bad. I, I'm not gonna pass it. Why would I talk about it? But I did, so yay. But however, I really like screwed my routine. I didn't, I don't have anything to recommend on that part because last month before the exam, like February, I barely studied. I barely opened books. I, I f completely ignored the exam because I was just so tired. Talking about how I studied with the materials, with the books and everything, I have the whole video on the books and all the study materials available and how I used them back in fall. And you can go watch that. I will link it in the end of this video. But I, my routine kind of changed a little bit with it. I, my opinions about the books didn't change. The books suck. If you want to spend money on something, spend money on the exams, the released exams. One and only thing you will ever need. Don't ever try to spend money on anything else because everything else will be a waste of your time. I used dental decks. I started studying with dental decks and I told you that I was reading them just like a book. I was just reading through them one by one and that also proved to be kind of non-effective because I 
found myself spending a long time on it. I started with Biochem because it's my weakest subject and it took me about two weeks to go through the entire deck to like sit down for six hours and read through. It took a long time and basically I found myself knowing a lot of stuff when I got to anatomy section. I was like, why am I reading this? Why am I wasting time on like the structure of heart if I know the structure of heart? I didn't even finish dental decks. I never got to like bi microbiology and physiology, never even opened that dental anatomy, didn't open that at all and I passed. So obviously it's not needed. My approach was I would open the released exams. I would do the task just by section. They come in at like a bunch of exams. If you buy the whole pack, there are a lot of exams throughout the years. And I would go anatomy, 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 anatomy in all of them. And once I'm done with all of the anatomy, I kind of have the full grasp on what they test. Don't expect for these tests to be exactly how you will receive them on your exam. They're old. They're from like 70s. They are outdated. Sometimes the name of the disease even changed. So don't expect to receive this test as it's going to be on your exam. But I did meet similar questions, very similar questions, but a little bit rephrased on my test. And I noticed that I actually made a mistake on this question in my practice test, but I got this question in my actual test and answered correctly. So definitely make sure that you go through the whole thing. I didn't go through the whole thing but I went through a lot. Test is one thing that you definitely need, the released exams. My approach generally to studying, especially past two months before the exam, like right the last months before the exam, I would go through the test, I would make mistakes and I would find the subject that I'm the weakest, that the gaps in my knowledge that I don't know and they would appear on this test. Everything that I answered correctly, I would completely skip. I would just basically find a question that I didn't know and I would go look at, in dental decks at first, but that also proved to take too long of a time. So there is no index, there is no way to find the subject that was too long that I was just scrolling through them. So I basically started going on Wikipedia. That proved to be the fastest and the most reliable way because I would just read it on Wikipedia once. If I wanted to return to it, it's always there. I don't need to worry about like writing it down or anything. I know that subjects that are tested on the first boards are very basic. They're general sciences, nothing clinical, nothing that you will actually need your books for. So everything is on Wikipedia. Just go and look it up. It's very simple. So this is how I studied basically. This is my main approach to teaching myself this stupid exam was just googling it. Like anything else in life. Also completely forgot main crucial thing that helped me tremendously. You should google crack and BDE. I think it's called or pass and BDE. No, I think it's crack and BDE. Uh, it's a guy who makes videos on YouTube about studying for NBD and also he has a course and I recommend you to buy the course. It's about $200 I think. It's pricey but it costs as much as the textbooks, but you will not find anything better for mnemonics. The guy knows what he's talking about. He gives you the subjects that are tested exactly as it is on NBD. He did his research. He's so good. He gives you such good mnemonics. I couldn't like remember the difference between rubella and rubiola, and he gave me such a funny and easily remember mnemonic that now I will never forget it. You definitely should check him out on YouTube. He has some free videos. I uh, watch some dental anatomy there, but I definitely recommend the course. I could not recommend it higher because he just made it so easy. He gives you out dry subjects, just what you need. He knows what he's talking about and you will not find an easier way to remember. Dental anatomy is his most fav famous thing. He has 300 facts that you need to pass dental anatomy, which is basically the most high yield questions on the exam. Tons of them I knew just because of him. You will not find a better dental anatomy anywhere. Yeah, it's called pass the dental boards. Another thing I wanted to tell you, there's no way to prepare for testlets. At least I didn't find it. So I don't have any recommendations there. I definitely recommend you to read the ethics, ethics section on dental decks because there were ethics questions. It sounds simple like, yeah, I know ethics, but sometimes they're convoluted. There are like 14 cards. Definitely make sure that you go through them. And I think that's it. Let's sum up everything that I just said. First of all, pass the dental board's videos and his course are amazing. I highly, highly recommend them. Second of all, they released exams, going through them and finding your mistakes and finding the holes in your knowledge. Third of all, dental deck, but not fully. I found that it was a bit of a waste of time, but out of all the study materials out there, they're the best. And the last one is make sure you know your ethic. There's no other way to prepare for it. It's very fast, but definitely don't miss out 
out on it because there were questions on it and also of course do your research definitely google everything that's out there and i'm not telling you that there's something illegal on the internet but go look it up and that's everything i wanted to tell you guys i really hope you all pass your mbde and you become amazing dentists here in the us and i wish you the best of luck and i will see you in my next video bye